Hello, YouTubers. Recently, the Chinese Communist Party has come out publicly stating that they're concerned that the American government is working to overthrow their government. And this is perhaps the one truthful thing that's come from the Chinese Communist Party within my lifetime. Interestingly enough, this may help the West to avoid a war with China. However, my concern is that such actions can result in more criticism of American imperialism, as the deposed Chinese government would likely paint us as the bully of the world. My view is that it's sometimes necessary to overthrow evil governments to avoid a more catastrophic war. One must question why an announcement from the Chinese government that they suspect that the United States government is attempting to overthrow them unless there is a serious attempt at doing precisely that. The following is why I believe the Chinese government fears that the United States will likely overthrow their government. Within the last year, the Chinese government has decreased confidence in its Belt and Road Initiative and has begun to face a crippling economy. As a result, many of the elite in China are trying to flee to other countries, primarily Australia. Additionally, China just lost its closest ally, Pakistan, under Imran Khan, and a new U.S.-friendly government is emerging. For context, it would be as if the Israeli government were overthrown with accusations that the Chinese government was behind it. From reading the news, I suspect that Khan, the former president of Pakistan, is pissed. One article even described him as being visibly enraged. It seems that neither the government nor the military is listening to him, with the government bringing a vote of no confidence against him. Plus, he recently proclaimed a march where millions of supporters were supposed to show up, but it was sparsely attended. Now, assuming U.S. intervention, this means that the government and military must be backed by the United States. For what other reason were China to be afraid if their closest ally were deposed by the government? If Khan being overthrown was a good thing, why would the Chinese government come out publicly? To understand the Chinese threat, it's best to first understand the situation in Pakistan, beginning with the withdrawal from Afghanistan. Unfortunately, and as expected, Biden's withdrawal of Afghanistan had some blowback to it. While fair to ask, when is a good time to withdraw from Afghanistan? One of the consequences of that withdrawal was a split within the Taliban between members of the government who decided to moderate and their extremist elements that are committed to terrorism. It is these extremist elements that then began crossing into the border of Pakistan. Consider this. These terrorists would not have been allowed to cross the border into Pakistan without the consent of the Pakistani government. Since Pakistan, under the recently deposed Pakistani president Imran Khan, was basically a vassal of China, the Chinese government controlled him. The Pakistani government would not have given authorization without express and explicit consent from China. This means that China, a foreign state, along with Pakistan, were knowingly and intentionally sponsoring and harboring terrorists, likely to draw us back into Afghanistan. If so, the United States government is more than justified in overthrowing the Pakistani government. As much as America could be criticized for corruption within the government, the Chinese government is completely corrupted because of one simple reality. The Chinese government is filled with lies and is afraid of truth, as shown by their persecution of Falun Gong for the mere crime of having the courage to be honest. It's true that America may keep secrets pertaining to national security and that the American media may sensationalize or engage in hyperbole, but Americans can still get on the internet in America and other Western nations to discover the facts surrounding most events. The same is not true for Chinese citizens, since their government has created a great firewall that has essentially prevented them from the truth. It is China that oppresses not only its own people, but anyone that so much as dares to criticize the Chinese Communist Party, no matter their nationality. It is China that has put millions of people in concentration camps for the mere crime of being peaceful Muslims. It is China that prohibits Christians from peacefully assembling in their own homes, forcing them to go to government-approved churches or be in prison. All systems designed by humans are imperfect because humans are imperfect. While the American government is far from perfect, it is the best system of government in the world. Even though America is not without sin, it is nowhere near as oppressive as the Chinese Communist Party. America is not the bully of the world. China is. It's no wonder that the Chinese government considers themselves next on the list to be overthrown. And that's all the time that I have for now. Thanks for your time.